This week on Taxation TV, we're finally doing the comparison of the Apple iPod Nano as a watch and an actual smartwatch by Samsung. It's the Galaxy Gear comparison video coming up. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to Tech Nation TV. My name is Rusty G, and we are here to compare the Apple iPod Nano and the Samsung Galaxy Gear uh, smartwatch. This obviously is not a smartwatch. It simply is, well, just an iPod Nano. So let's talk about that first. So let's just put the uh, Galaxy Gear off to the side, and you can see here uh, this looks like a watch and acts like a watch. And don't mind the. Uh, uh, sweat and all crap underneath the leather band here, but uh, as you can see it's just a leather band and it's just a iPod Nano that is simply clipped in to make it look like a watch. And as you see there, you can change the faces of the watch as you so choose based upon whatever Apple has built in. There are other hacks out there to get different faces and things like that. So uh, just be mindful that this is literally an iPod Nano 6 generation. This is nothing like the smartwatch that you would come to expect with Bluetooth and everything like that. Uh, there you can see a pretty neat face watch. Uh, and then the one that's just standard kind of has everything that you need minus weather. Uh, it has a day, date, time, uh, and the year. And you can go through and you can do your stopwatch, you can go through and do your timer, uh, and then just go back to the regular watch as needed. But if you want to carry around up to 8 gigs of music, because this 6th gen that I have uh, was traded in for a uh, iPod Nano that was the first generation, and I'll have to get back and forth here between the focus. Uh, apologize for that, but you can see here it's just your standard iPod Nano. Uh, I've removed all the menus as far as the Nike Plus and things like that because you can see here you can actually go into, and it's been such a long time since I've actually gone into this. Uh, let's see, fitness. And you can do the walk and do the uh, Nike. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going through the stuff, but you can go through and turn some of those apps on and off. I haven't been in it so long. But anyway, it's just your basic iPod Nano 6 Gen. Uh, it's got your music there. Uh, there's my playlist. Uh, you can go by artist, album, all your general stuff that you would expect. Uh, to come from an iPod. This is just typical stuff. You're just pointing and clicking and you're just getting in there and you're you know picking your song that you want to hear and do your shuffle or do your song or whatever. And what's cool is it plays the actual artwork as you are uh, you know playing your song. You can sit there and you know pull up, play, pause, go to the next song. You can actually pull up uh, the rest of the album and do your standard stuff. Every, every, everything that we're expected to uh, from an iPod. Uh, and you can also, there's your options. And you'll see everything is by a swipe from the left to go back. Um, this is kind of like the iPod Touch in a sense that uh, for those of you that have used it before, uh, this is just for the iPod Nano. I apologize. Uh, but you can see everything's kind of a swipe to the left and it kind of gets you back to home. There's not really a home button per se. Um, but there is the volume up and volume down buttons that you're going to see there. Let me focus in on that. Yeah, you'll see the plus and the minus for music. And then you'll see your standard, basically screen off, screen on power button that gets you back to just turn it off and on. Uh, you can see there. But it, and what's cool about this is because you can turn it off and on, uh, you can actually uh, go through and pull your music right back up as needed and get right back into it. So, uh, But you'll see again, a swipe from the left, and, and I keep saying this because you're gonna see a difference in the Galaxy Gear here in a moment. Um, but again, my music is being paused right now because you know obviously I left the music. Um, and this is your standard scroll up, scroll left. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna get into too much of the details because many of you already know what this is. Uh, the only difference is now uh, these are obsolete. Uh, this is your old school 30 pin dock connector uh, with your standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack there. Um, and you just, you know, jack into the bottom of it. And there were many, many accessories that came along with the iPod Nano. This was one of them uh, to basically just drop it in. And there you go, it's now a watch. I can now put this on. This actually comes standard with only two pins. Uh, I actually bought and purchased two so that I could secure it even further. And it just pops on right into place as you see there. Um, and now it becomes my watch. 
so you can go in there and you know do whatever you need um, again but the thing is I am wired I am not wireless there are accesses for being able to Bluetooth to this basically a Bluetooth dongle that comes in and plugs in the bottom of this for those of you wanting to do the Bluetooth thing and you can do it that way if you so choose again to notice that I get back home I swipe to the left I can change my backgrounds and stuff like that not much to it uh, but that's your standard iPod Nano 6th generation. Obviously, we have changed since then, so don't be expecting that. Um, but I also have here what actually just made me recently change. For those of you that don't know, this is a Samsung Galaxy Gear. This is the first generation. This is the one that was announced a year ago. Um, unchangeable band. Everything's kind of built in, mainly because of this wall wart, I like to call it. Uh, it's built into the wall of the watch. Uh, and also a wart because it kind of sticks out, but it's a camera uh, that's built into it. And then on the back, you have the clasp that actually is the microphone and speaker that allows you to take calls. Um, and then your standard, well, I wouldn't say standard, but it does uh, have a plug-in charger uh, that sits in right here and actually charges to the back of the plate. Non-removable battery, just like the iPod Nano, uh, and it just sits right on your watch. And this is... Uh, actually a customized faceplate that I've done for Ingress just for me just because I enjoyed Ingress uh, you see there in military time the 722 uh, Dayton uh, stuff uh, I can actually go through and have apps and other things again this is standard swipe left to right but to get back home you're going to swipe down which actually this goes into the camera and this actually shows a text nation background there as you see there uh, but that's your basic uh, way to get back home is swiping down so for instance if I go into swipe over and I want to pull up the weather and you know look at the weather for the week and there's you know it's 86 degrees here in Nashville and I can click and get a Monday Tuesday uh, Wednesday it looks like a five-day forecast or seven-day forecast right there just kind of give you an idea uh, that your basic weather stuff that you would expect from a smartwatch but to get back home again I just swipe down and it gets me right back home right back to my main screen and again just swiping through changing things this also uh, much like the iPod Nano had the uh, Nike Plus this has a pedometer built in um, this is not actually my step count obviously I, I've just been messing with it today uh, but this allows you to keep up with uh, your step counting if you want to do that and take care of how many miles and things that you walked, how many calories that you burned uh, if you want to do such things. Uh, it gives you options for being able to do some workouts and stuff like that, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'm assuming I haven't played with it much, but I'm assuming it probably has an assistant in it built in just like Nike Plus did. Uh, I can go into the gallery. I can pull up photos that I took. I went camping this past weekend, so you're going to see uh, photos that I took with the watch. Here's my girlfriend. Uh, they're all posted with a Galaxy Gear logo at the bottom. Kind of cool, kind of neat. Um, uh, which is different about the iPod Nano because you can't take pictures with it. Uh, this actually syncs up if you run out of space. Syncs up with the um, either the Note 3, the Galaxy Gear S4, blah, 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 many other gal Galaxy phones. Uh, but it syncs up so that you can, because this doesn't have actually a lot of memory, whereas the Apple iPod Nano actually has 8 gigs. Uh, the new Galaxy Gear, not to be confused with the gear that I'm holding in my hand and not even a Galaxy, the new Gear actually has uh, 4 gigs of memory for storing things. Um, there you see voice memo, uh, which you can't do because this has a microphone built on the back, whereas the iPod Nano does not. Um, you have your contacts, which you can go through, and this basically pulls it from your phone, as you see. Uh, some of the radio stations I listen to here locally, um, but it just pulls up your contacts. And matter of fact, let's see, you know, pulls out, being able, and you can go with it, and and it starts calling. You know, obviously, I'm not going to make that phone call, um, so we're just going to end that there. But you would typically see uh, that would come out of the clasp right there, so kind of cool. Um, but we're going to swipe back to home see the other things that we have we have call logs for being able to see uh, what your phone call was obviously I had a text and a few phone calls um, notifications to allow me to see there's Twitter there's hangouts there's current caller ID um, you can see some of your notifications and if you have some specific built-in apps there's email if you want to set that up just as well uh, the cell phone dialer if you actually want to make a phone call of some sort um, you can do it from your watch so you don't have to and the one thing that I like better on the Apple iPod Nano, and you'll see here, is this media controller. Take a look. You'll see here 
This actually is just a remote control for your Galaxy phones, aka I have the Galaxy Gear, uh, the Galaxy Note 3, so you'll see here it comes with the gear manager. I can actually control what's going on inside of, let's say, Google Music here. So you can see there, there I was playing Offspring, uh, you know, and it basically just controls that. And let me see if I can do this all at once here. So you can see this. Yeah, so there you go, you see that. It's just a remote control, not so much actual music. So for instance, on the Apple iPod Nano, you can actually have music because on it, there was actually eight gigs of storage, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, <laughs> but because it's like an iPod in the sense that, uh, let's see, about, let's see, capacity 7.3, so an eight gig thing. This actually has just enough storage to run the apps and things like that. It doesn't allow you much storage, but allows you to control your music. It doesn't actually let you have music, but it that kind of sucks. That's the part where I'm like, I like this better, because I have actual music stored on it, whereas with this, I'm still remote controlling my phone. Uh, speaking of remote control, this is kind of cool though. If you start to lose your phone, guess what you can do? And it tells you, you can see that there, your gear is searching for this device. And you can stop it there. Or I should be able to stop it there. Okay, there we go. And what's even cooler is you can actually go into the Galaxy Gear itself and you can actually, uh, let's see, da, 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 find my gear. So if you want to, so let's say you want to actually find your device, there's your actual gear going right there. Uh, it's letting you know there it is, so you can stop that. And basically it's vice versa, so if you have one but not the other, uh, you can find it. So that's awesome and amazing and everything like that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I, you can't do that with an iPod Nano, so that's kind of cool. Um, so anyway, moving on, media controller, pedometer like I told you, S voice for doing some uh, simple basic commands, standard stopwatch like the iPod Nano had, um, and your standard settings, and I'm going to try to get this in focus here, there we go, uh, your settings for being able to go through, oh, oh. I missed the hit my pedometer there. Try to get this back. Go into your settings for changing your volume, display uh, your battery, turn off the Bluetooth if you don't want a Bluetooth to it and you just want to have just a standalone watch. Uh, motion, which allows you to do motion stuff like wake up gesture. I hate that because it turns the screen on every time you lift your wrist. And I lift my wrist a lot apparently during the day so it drains the battery fairly quick. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Um, you also have the ability for privacy lock, uh, which I haven't done because it's a watch uh, and it's going to be on my wrist and I don't think anybody's going to be really looking at my, my wrist. Um, but anyway, there's everything, your uh, scheduling app, your timer, voice memo again, weather if you need it. Uh, what's cool though is you can actually install apps like MyFitnessPal and be able to actually run, and I'm having to do this through the camera here. Uh, you can actually run apps that are built specifically for the Galaxy Gear. Uh, this one in particular will work with uh, the MyFitnessPal app on your phone. And I don't think, because I don't think I have it installed on my phone, we'll just go back home. Hey, yeah, there we go. It just works with the app, so you can do things like that. So, pretty cool. Basic, just a little bit more to it. Uh, being able to control some things, get some quick weather, um, get notifications if needed, you know, you know, to get so that you don't have to have your phone out. You can have your phone and you can see uh, new interactions there and you can see Hangouts and stuff like that. So um, not not too much more than the iPod Nano, but it is a quote unquote smartwatch. Uh, what's cool though is if you take a look at the gear uh, manager here, let's do this. And this is where it becomes a little bit more fun because you can actually see what's going on. Uh, there's where Samsung apps, you can do some stuff uh, to actually set up some of the apps. Uh, and also being able to double press the power key. Uh, the power key is on the side, whereas the iPod Nano actually has their power button on the top. 
Uh, so that's a little bit different, but you can double press the power key and get right to whatever you want. You can set that up in some of your standard apps, so it's kind of cool. Um, also allowing you to unlock your mobile device if the gear is close by so that I don't have to actually do a three, uh, or not three character, a four character password. I can just be close by and have that or my um, uh, uh, stuff. Uh, where I do the uh, drawing, but anyway, uh, I can install other things that aren't Samsung if I wanted to, which is kind of neat. Uh, there are other cracking videos and things like that where you can root your device. I am not recommending that because I don't know how. Uh, if you find the right video, go for it. Uh, take your gear and turn it into a complete um, Android device, which is kind of cool. The other thing is you can actually, much like you can on the iPod Nano, you can change the face. And what will happen is, you see that on the gear, it got updated. Uh, you can go through and do whatever face that you want, and you see it gets updated. And it just, it's actually looking for weather right there because I'm actually, or actually looking for another city because of the dual clock. Um, I can set whichever one, so that's kind of cool. Um, I also can get with this app called Watch Styler, which allows me to create my own watch which is how I created the Ingress watch as you see there. So that's kind of cool, you can go and mess it with that. Um, and if you just want to do the standard weather uh, and whatever you can do, just that and have just your standard face. Uh, battery lasts about two days. Uh, you can stretch it out to maybe three, but it might be dying by mid morning. So uh, with the Apple iPod Nano, uh, you're looking at two to three days strong uh, because there is no Bluetooth, there is no wireless stuff going on in the background. Even though this is using low power Bluetooth on the uh, Galaxy Gear, uh, it still can suck down battery life. So uh, I would recommend, uh, as far as smartwatches, if you're not looking to get in a smartwatch game and you love music, get yourself a 6th gen iPod, find yourself a band for it, and turn it into a watch. If you want to be uh, the latest and the greatest, don't get the Galaxy Gear, get the Galaxy Gear, or the Gear 2 now, or the Gear Fit, or the Gear Neo, or whatever they're called, uh, if you want to stay on the cutting edge, because those actually will connect with uh, your Samsung devices, so that's kind of cool, um, and being able to pull down, you know, your basic information, weather, email, uh, short notifications, and text, and quick phone calls and stuff, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so make sure, uh, if you want to, go out and get yourself that gear. Uh, they're really cheap now. I believe Best Buy actually had them on for like $150, if not cheaper. Uh, the black one's still the most expensive just because it kind of goes with everything. Uh, if not, go with the Apple iPod Nano. Uh, or wait till if we actually see in 2014 the iWatch. Uh, but that has been my video of the, Gal uh, the Galaxy Gear uh, verse version uh, versus the Apple iPod Nano. Uh, stay tuned all year round, guys, for TextNation.tv. Uh, you can go to YouTube.com slash TextNationTV. Uh, you can also go to follow us on Twitter, Twitter.com slash TextNationTV. You can follow us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash TextNationTV. Also on G+, gplus.to slash TextNationTV. And you guys can follow me directly. I'm at RustyG. We'll see you guys again for the next video. Hopefully you got some more gear, uh, other stuff coming in. Haha, uh, -ha on the gear. See you guys.